That coastal storm in the northeast is really whipping up the winds. In fact, we're going to have some near 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts today. And unfortunately, because it is dry within these areas, we haven't seen our spring green up yet. Fire concerns are definitely an issue. Severe storms possible in the southern U.S. over the next two to three days with colder temperatures funneling into the northern two-thirds of the nation by the middle part of April. So there's your critical fire weather threat. It does include Washington, D.C., over to Philadelphia, New York City. Uh, we do have some red flag warnings within these areas. Again, pretty breezy winds. Uh, we do have a wind advisory a little farther north where winds could be up around 30 to near 50 miles per hour, especially out on the Cape and Long Island there. Uh, but some 20 to 30 mile an hour winds for D.C., Philly and uh, New York City. So there's the storm pulling away pretty quickly. Areas of snow a little bit heavier in eastern portions of Maine. And then we're going to have another system late, later this week, bring another quarter to a half an inch of total liquid. But as I mentioned, we'll be ending the snow in uh, eastern portions of Maine and uh, wrapping up here pretty quickly by the afternoon. Temperatures nationwide running a little cooler in the northeast still, uh, but 72 in Houston, 80 in Phoenix, and 79 in Miami. A little bit cooler in Dallas and Houston today, but there's that cooler outlook, again, from the 10th to the 16th, the northern two-thirds of the nation still dealing with some slightly below average temps and then a little bit wetter than average across the midsection of the nation. Severe so weather concerns today across the Oklahoma and Texas panhandle into portions of the lower Mississippi Valley. A bigger slight risk area on Thursday into the lower Mississippi Valley and then back into central Texas on Friday. So pockets of heavy rain associated with that. Could see some intermountain west snow. Nothing major there, but your heaviest rain does appear uh, likely that uh, maybe some one to two inch liquid tallies will be found in the lower Mississippi Valley and still some precip in the midsection of the nation where we're dealing with river flooding.